In today's video, we're going to be looking at the comparison of the Great Dane and the Akita. These two sizable dogs are both beloved for different reasons, many of which will be explored in this video, so let's get started. Welcome back to the Great Dane channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Great Dane. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Great Danes. So if you're a lifelong Great Dane lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Great Dane, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Great Dane video. So let's get into today's video where we will be looking at the differences between the Great Dane and the Akita. We'll start with a quick look at their noteworthy history. Let's begin with the Great Dane. There are records of drawings that bear a resemblance to these dogs dating back to Egyptian times around 3000 BC. It's thought that the breed was taken across the globe by the Arisians, who used the dogs in trade deals with the Greek and Romans. The Greeks and Romans then bred these dogs with others like the ancestral Mastiff and Irish Wolfhound. But it was the Germans that refined the breed into the elegant, well-balanced dog we know today. Throughout the late 1800s, the aggression was bred out of the former hunting dogs, giving way to a gentle giant that's still loved today. The Akita is known to have originated in the Akita province in northern Japan. Records of the breed date back to the 1600s. The breed was used for the protection of royalty, hunting fowl and large game, including bears. The breed has long been held in high respects with Japanese people. It's said that there's an old Japanese tradition that when a child is born, the parents are gifted a model of an Akita to signify happiness and a long life for the child. But it wasn't until the 1920s that they were brought to America by Helen Keller, and there was a trend after World War II where soldiers stationed overseas brought back Akitas to America, creating a boost in popularity from 1956. However, this created a bit of a divide, as there was now an American standard and a Japanese standard for the breed, which caused some tension, leading to a delay in acceptance of the breed into the AKC until 1972. The Great Dane is an unmistakable breed. They have a regal appearance, are dignified and strong. They're one of the tallest breeds. A male can be up to 32 inches at the shoulder and weigh up to 90 kilograms. Females up to 28 inches and weigh in up to 70 kilograms. A lot of breeds will be similar in physique across males and females, but a Great Dane male will be noticeably larger and have a heavier frame. Everything about the Great Dane is regal and defined. They have a rectangular expressive head and should have natural relaxed ears. The neck is held high and muscular and should gradually broaden smoothly into their shoulders. Their chest is broad and deep with well sprung ribs, which are tightly muscled giving them an overall neat look. Now there's a lot of variety in the colours of their coats. The AKC recognises brindle, fawn, blue, black, harlequin, mantle and male. And the coat is short, smooth and should have a glossy finish. Now the Akita is a large dog, powerful and strong throughout. Males can reach 27 inches at the shoulder and weigh up to 39 kilograms. Females can stand at 25 inches and weigh up to 29 kilograms. Subject to good body score, they have an impressively large head without being unbalanced. Small erect ears, bright alert eyes and a deep muzzle. The body is strong whilst comparatively short to breeds of similar weight, with thick muscular shoulders and chest, a straight sturdy back and well muscled legs. The feet are somewhat cat-like, compact and small for the size of the dog, but with hardy pads. Their tails are most likely to be the most characteristic part of the breed, where they famously curl up to lie across their back. The Great Dane is a docile dog, very happy to go for leisurely strolls with their owner, as they've been refined into companion animals rather than highly driven working dogs. They are an average intelligent, so they'll do well with the regular commands such as sit, stay, recall, etc. The thing you should be wary of is that they don't always know their size, so you'll want to be able to control them indoors, giving them a command that instantly gets their attention even when they're engaged in rambunctious play. This will save many accidents from happening. The Akita is a very intelligent and loyal dog, but like the Great Dane, they can be headstrong and stubborn, which can become an issue with such a strong breed if correct training isn't implemented straight away. They will instinctively guard too, so early socialization is key to prevent them from becoming overly protective of the house or family members. The loyalty to their owners makes them adaptable to training, but be sure to be consistent and thorough. They will respond well to positive training methods, but be sure to be somewhat strict. They're like toddlers, and if you give them an inch, they will take a mile. It's no surprise when I tell you that Great Danes are known as gentle giants. 
That is the allure of having a dog as big or even bigger than yourself. They make beautiful additions to the family. Their peace, disposition and relentless attempts at being a lap dog will just make them a joy to be around. Who could have a bad day when your 60 kilogram Great Dane is desperate to share your spot on the sofa? They're very people orientated and will even go so far as defending your home and family should they feel the need to. And that will be the few times that they will bark. They don't tend to bark for the sake of it, but you can expect them to be vocal and sassy back chat by grumbling, which will come from a good nature's place, I promise. Akitas are bold, willful dogs with an inherent caution of strangers, but immense loyalty to their owners. <laughs> There's good reason that they're entrusted to keep Japanese royalty safe and so be wary of this before deciding that they're the breed for you. They'll be affectionate and playful with the family, tending to be vocal in play in terms of grumbles. These aren't the breed for timid people, you do need a personality to match the breed. They will require firm, stable leadership to truly thrive and be their best selves. For their impressive size, a Great Dane is far more suited to a gentle stroll with their owners rather than fast paced play or structured activities. While they fully mature, extra care is needed to lessen the strain on the growing joints, so reduced exercise in the first couple of years is key to prevent any injuries. A fully grown Great Dane will love a jog around the park with their owners, as a human jogging pace is the perfect match for a Great Dane's optimal aerobic exercise. They have very low maintenance grooming needs, they have short coats that will need semi-regular brushing to prevent too much shedding, and only really need showering if they get muddy out in the rain. The Akita is a moderately active dog, they'll need up to one to two hours exercise a day depending on the intensity of the exercise. This breed does tend to like water, so socialise them to that when they're young, because it's a great way to tire them out that's a bit different to regular walks in the park. Now the coat of an Akita is very dense and they do shed, so expect to work your hoover more should you get one. Weekly brushing will aid that shed and only bathe them every few months unless they've rolled in the mud or had a swim in a questionable lake. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget if you're new here make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Great Dane videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Great Dane channel.